After watching this video, you'll be able to use all 14 CART AI control net tools. Open CART.ai and click Generate. Go to Control Net. Control Net allows you to get more predictable results using some source image. First four options I'll show you are edge detection algorithms. These tools allow you to create almost the same images but with different colors, lighting, etc. These four Control Net models are Canny, Line Art, Line Art Anime, and HED. And now you'll see the difference between them. I'll add my source image here. Here you can see auto-generated image description. You can edit it and use as prompt. Click switch to choose model you want. Here is control net type. Preprocessor should be enabled. Control net mode. You have to decide what is more important, your prompt or preprocessor, or you can keep balanced option. Control weight is how much the control net affects the final result. And here are common image generation settings. I'll change auto-adjusted settings and then generate. Here is original image and generated once. Image generated with Canny is smaller than other ones for some reason. I use the same generation settings for each image, so you can compare the impact of each control net option on final result. The edges of the objects are really soft. Canny is good for realistic images. Image created with line art has more contrast and looks like digital art. Line art anime. In this case, there are lots of dark shadows. Overall image quality is really low. HED. Image has even more contrast than in case of line art and doesn't have any significant issues. And now I'll use 2D anime image. Control net preprocessors are the same. Canny. Image has very soft edges and colors. Line art. There is more contrast and clouds even have an outline. Line art anime. It's almost similar to previous one and it's really good for anime images. HED. The result is also close to previous images. MLSD. This control net model recognizes straight lines. It can be useful if the main subject of your image is architecture, for example. Control net keeps the main shapes of the houses and other buildings almost the same. Next one is Scribble HED. It creates simple sketch based on your input image. You can see that the generated images don't have all the features and details from original one, just basic shapes. Open Pose detects the pose of a person from your image, so the characters on generated images will have almost the same pose. You can see that Pirate and Knight are turned slightly to the right. You can even use Source Image with multiple characters. Results will be also good. Normal Bay creates some sort of normal map. It means that it specifies the orientation of a surface. Depth Preprocessor generates depth map from your input image. It determines which objects are closer and which are farther away. Segmentation divides your image into different regions. Here you can see that characters have different poses but they remain within the red highlighted segment. Color Grid is for extracting the color palette from your image and applying it to your generated images. It isn't 100% accurate, but it can be helpful. You can also create images with colors you need and use them here. Shuffle the forms and warps different parts of your image, and then you can create images based on your description with the same colors and overall atmosphere. It even works for real photos. Reference generation is for creating similar images based on the input image. There is a unique setting for this preprocessor. The style fidelity value determines the degree of influence of the original image on the generated one. I used photo and results are impressive. And another example with anime image as an input. Tile resample is a little bit similar to image to image option. You can use it to create more detailed variations of your image. Also, you can use up to three control net preprocessors at once. I'll use this image with color grid preprocessor, but first I'll replace auto generated description with my prompt and I'll choose model. Color grid preprocessor. Common image generation settings. And here you can add another control net preprocessor. I'll add cityscape image here and use line art preprocessor. 
You can see that generated image has details from image with city and some colors from another image I used with color grid. And the last thing I want to show you is preview tool. It allows you to get preview image from your input image for control net preprocessors. I'll choose Scribble HED for example. The higher processing accuracy value, the higher preview image quality will be. Preview image can be used as input like regular images. You can resize, rotate, or change other details of preview image with some image editor to have even more control over the result. Thanks for watching, and check out my CR AI tutorials playlist too.